Do you remember a couple of months ago we showed you a video all about our new dragon incense burner range and how John had been sculpting these cute little critters out of wax. So the process has moved on now and we're going to show you whereabouts we are in the production stage now. Okay, yes. So if you remember, we got those waxes that I made and then they were taken. I took them down and uh, handed them over to the mold maker, the brilliant Rob. Thank you, Rob, for doing those. Uh, and what Rob did then was to encompass the models in rubber. So here we see one of the moulds here that's been cut open. This one's for the treasure one. And from that we get a resin piece. So then from a resin piece it comes down to uh, painting them uh, as and designed. And so this week I'm going to give you the first look at the new pieces. So there we have, we have the, uh, the cauldron dragon, the pumpkin dragon there, and our little friend, the treasure dragon there. Now what happens is I have to do two versions of these and we keep one here, we send one to the factory. And that way we can check along the process when they send us the information, whether they're adhering to the colorways. But again, it's always been fun, certainly from Anne's designs, you, you, you get all sorts of uh, little color changing nuances, which I try and capture within the piece. And hopefully I've done her some credit there, so. So the color painted versions are going to go to the factory as reference for the color scheme. Yes. But then these are hollowed out versions that go off there. If you see um, here, the whole dragon's been hollowed out and the little holes where the smoke comes out have been made. So let's just let's just show you how this they is work. An incense cone. So the smoke rises up from the cone, as smoke does, and once the dragon's put on, then the smoke will come out here in this one, in the holes in the treasure chest. It will. So this one, the smoke is designed to come out of the bubbles in the cauldron, and That's in so this little one, it will come out of the eyes in the pumpkin. So we've had parts one and two of the process. We have indeed. And I'm sure we'll perhaps have a final video later in the year when Just, um, these little chaps have um, well, when they're made gonna it hit back the from the production run, flown all the way over from China. And hopefully <laughs> they'll, they'll fit in the range with the rest. <laughs>